Hey guys and gals, Von Baden here with another video for Nightmare Creations. Today's video is kind of a cool build and something that I want to share that I think um, no matter what kind of creative things that you do, it'd be magic, it'd be doing stuff with EVA foam, um, could be something that uh, you should think about. So stay tuned. All right, here we are. So, first of all, I got the template for the frame of this from SKS Props. All of the foam in this, except for one piece, and I'll point it out, or well, actually it would be two, but we'll get to that in a minute, are um, SKS Props foam and what it is and I still have a little bit of shaping and of course I gotta paint this thing is this top hat here now this top hat has six millimeter foam for the brim the, the top and the stack there I guess is what you would call it there is also two millimeter foam and then there is this dragon scale that is going to um, be two millimeter as well. Now, um, I have to do another, probably another coat or two of Mod Podge on all of this to get it ready for painting we won't get into painting today um or i will get into talking about the paint job um when i did this um i wanted to make a top hat of course and i wanted to uh do something a little bit different than what was done on sks props one and i will leave a link for for that in the description down below. I wanted to do the dragon scale I knew. I also wanted to do some teeth that would be coming up from underneath the, the band around the hat. Um, <clears throat> so I took clay foam and my eventual plan was to take these teardrop ones shape them a bit, um, put some grooves in them for teeth, and then glue them underneath the band. Well, as I got going, and this is the thing with magic, with building, sometimes you get all these great ideas, I wanna add this, I wanna add that, and I wanna go here, I wanna go there, and then you get to that point, and then you debate it with yourself over, is it too much? And, some of you right now would be like, hey, that would be pretty cool to have the teeth all the way around. And it would, it would, but I felt personally that it was too much. So I decided to 86 the teeth. And that's the problem sometimes with magic and builds. We get in our own head on what we want to do and how much we want to go this direction and at the end of the day it would be cool but it's just not something that should be either attempted or just something that can't be done not that this couldn't have been done but i just felt that too much would just take away from the other detailed elements that I'm gonna do with this, with paint and all of that. So, um, like I said, six millimeter, two millimeter foam. Um, this band, I think really looks cool. Definitely looks 
cloth like um, and uh, <clears throat> all that fun stuff um, I have some ideas that I want to do with the paint and we won't get into those right now but I do enjoy how this looks so far and I can't wait to get it completely done and sealed up to where I can start painting um, and get my sides a little bit more better shape but other than that I think it looks pretty good so hopefully you enjoyed this video and hopefully you are now currently thinking about do I really need to go these extra miles with uh, this card routine that I'm working on or do I need to add those 52 pieces of detail that are going to muddy up some of the other details that I have um, which is why I finally said this would I feel take away from what I want to do so you know that's the cool thing with magic and with doing props and things like this is you're not limited to what you can accomplish but you also don't want to have the entire kitchen sink in there so hopefully you enjoyed this video and if you did give it a thumbs up and I will see all of you on the very next video thanks welcome to the carnival of carnage and I'll see you all on the next video thanks bye